Okay, so today we're looking at the change of base formula for logarithms. And this states if you have a logarithm to some base of a, then you can change it, you can express it in terms of a new base, uh, we're calling it b here, by using this formula. So log of a of x equals the ratio of these two logs, where we've got the same base of b, but here we have x on top and here we have a on the bottom. So let's look at an example, just to get an idea of how this works. If we have a logarithm to the base 8 of 11, and let's say we want to express this in base 10, maybe that's easier to calculate, then using this formula, we have the ratio of these two logs, they're now both base 10, and then the question is what are these numbers that we put in here? And by this formula it's just the number in here, the x value, goes on top, and the old base, uh, little a, this goes on the bottom. And it's also a really nice way to remember the formula because x is slightly higher than a in the formula, so x appears on the top of this fraction and a appears on the bottom, so that's one way you can remember this. And so this is a really useful way to change the base of logarithms. So let's look at a different problem. If we have 3 to the x equals 20, and we want to find out what x is, then straight away we can just apply logarithms of base 3 to find out what x is, because then x equals log base 3 of 20. This is just a definition of the logarithm. But maybe log 3 isn't very nice to calculate using a calculator or a computer. And instead we want to calculate base 10 again. So if we use this formula, this is log base 10 of 20, the top number, divided by log base 10 of 3, which is the old base. So this is an equivalent expression for x, which is the solution to this problem. So now we're going to look at a bit of a special case of this formula where if we want to change to a new base, but we're applying the logarithm of that base, then this formula is going to simplify. So if we just replace x by b in here, then just plugging it into this formula, we have log base b of b divided by log to the base b of a. And now we know that log of b of b is just equal to 1. So this actually simplifies to 1 over log to the base b of a. So this is a really nice way to switch the base and the number that we're taking log of. We just have to flip it. It's 1 over the uh, logarithm of the new base. So let's just look at an example of using this. If we have log to base 7 of 10, and like we were saying before, maybe base 10 is easier to calculate in, then we can switch it to base 10 by using this, where it's 1 over log to the base 10 of 7. And this might be a lot nicer to calculate. So this is just a little trick you can use from this formula. And this rule is really useful for logarithmic equations, and we're going to do a video on that next, where we have an equation in terms of logs, and we need to get everything into the same base, and then we can solve for the variable x. And that's what we're going to do next.